coming up, travel expert Quentin Long shares all the tips and tricks to bag yourself a bargain break over Christmas. Can't juggle, though. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. Look at all of our fake snow. It's lovely, isn't Play. it? Now, if you're Play looking to get away this Christmas but still haven't made any plans, don't worry, it's not too late. No, indeed. You can actually save cash by booking a last-minute deal. Quentin Long from International Traveller magazine is here with us to tell us how. Morning, mate. Morning. Now, Quentin, let's talk about last-minute overseas yep. holidays. So how do you bag a bargain? I reckon Cambodia. Choose Cambodia. It's a great destination, really emerging. A great family destination, particularly particularly if you want to expose the kids to new ways and things. So start off in Siem Reap, you can fly directly in, you can get low cost carriers in there so that'll save you some money. Book through Skyscanner which is a great website for airfares and obviously you see all those great temples. This is Tonla Sap which is where you have floating villages on the lake wow. and, and they, they have you know whole farms on these floating um, canvases and then get down to the beaches at Sunukville. Wow. Beautiful beaches, really cheap as chips, like you can get five star for under $100 a night wow. even during you know Boxing Day to New Year. That's wow, fantastic. That's, yeah, that's yeah. amazing because you don't think of Cambodia as a holiday destination like that. Like Vietnam was yeah. the place, but now it's Cambodia. Cambodia is really coming out. Cambodia is Vietnam about 10, 15 years ago. Really authentic, beautiful people, even despite their horrors that they've been through. Yeah. It's really great. And soak up some local culture and all that sort of stuff. That's what it. about a holiday... Uh, here in Australia, mate, what do you recommend for a cheap Christmas getaway? Snowy mountains. It's really, really cheap. You can get... Not a, a lot a, of snow. That no, not a lot of snow. <laughs> but then you go to Lake Jindabyne, you know, and, and get on the lake, do some water skiing, do some, some walking through, horse riding. It's all great. Do the whole Snowy Mountain River, you know, experiences. Walk up to Mount Kosciuszko. You can get a really cheap Sleep 5 accommodation on the lake for under 100 bucks a night. And that is during is the that Christmas... Is per person? No, no, no. That's for the whole five. Yeah, yeah. A discovery. Wow. Okay. Unbelievable. It's like when we went to Whistler this year for the Today Show. I mean, during the, during the summer, it's yeah. all going on there. Yeah, yeah a lot of those winter stuff. destinations are more busy in the summer in North America, by the way. Who would have thunk? Fantastic. Thank you so much no for trouble, that, Quentin. Guys. All right, coming up, the amazing snoring.